Hi friends, my name is Lucinda Watkins. I am hiking guide and I'm really excited because a lot of you guys are coming hiking with me this year. What I wanted to do was make a little video about the shoes and boots that I have for hiking. Um, the pros and the cons and the good and the bad and the ugly and why I have so many different pairs because I use them for different things. So um, let's start with the winter ones because in the spring, even in June, if there's any snow, you're going to need something warm. Uh, and to keep your foot dry. So these are what I use. They are Keens. They, and I've been using them as an everyday shoe pretty much since October. Um, they're super comfortable. You can walk long distances in them and they're warm. So I did a few snowshoe trips and they're what I used and they were fantastic. So they are from Keen. They have this thing on the back. I don't know if you can see that for when you do have snowshoes or that sort of thing that hold onto the binding so that it doesn't actually uh, break down the boot. So nice protection there. Um, I don't believe that they're like sold as waterproof, but my foot's never got wet unless snow gets in here. But I usually wear my gaiters with them and spring hikes, I'm gonna wear the gaiters um, just to keep feet and legs dry. So that's what I've been using lately. <clears throat> for a shorter hike, um, I, I, if you've been to my hiking 101 talk, you've heard that my first backpacking trip, I went in tennis shoes like runners. Um, and I ended up with sore hips, sore knees, sore feet. And really your base um, of your hike is gonna be your shoe. And that's so important. So um, this one is, it looks like a runner and I do use it for workouts cause it is super comfortable, but it's got really good grip, really good arch support, which you probably can't see, um, has that good arch support in there. Um, and works like a hiker. So this is for my shorter hikes that isn't rough terrain um, and it is a nice, nice flat path. I've got a few of those um, this summer coming up uh, and spring. Definitely Ribbon Creek. Um, what are some other ones? Grassy, those ones. A fairly straightforward path uh, that something like this would work good on. Now, I used to not be a fan of high tops. I find them, they were uncomfortable and they bug at my um, ankle and stuff. These ones are fantastic. So I got to try them last year. Uh, Keen's rep Alana, or my friend there came with us and let me try a pair. And I've never had such a comfortable high top. If you look in there, it's really padded and really soft. And what's going to happen is it's going to cushion in around your ankle and not cause any grief. No blisters, no uncomfortable, no chafing, no rubbing fantastic so there's a few creek bed hikes so when i say creek bed um grotto is a good example uh jura creek uh, cougar creek those ones are rocky terrain so you're not on a flat even path it is a rocky terrain i always prefer something with some support for the ankle on those rocky hikes so if you're going on something that's uneven ground this is fantastic and a little bit of high top and good support for that ankle so I've sprained an ankle before, and if you've done that, you know uh, you can end up spraining it over and over again. So that's what I like for that. Um, these are my little waterproof ones. I find they're good in the spring too. If it's like creek bed, so Jura and uh, Cougar Creek, both you're hopping over the creek a fair bit, and I find these are great. So just sloshing through a little bit, not a big deal if you're not going up too high. And I find these are waterproof. I quite like them. I do get a little bit sweatier in them. I need to make sure I wear a lightweight sock that's gonna breathe a little bit better. So I like those ones. Who knew I liked blue shoes? That was, that's weird. I, I don't usually put them all together. They usually hang out separately. Um, yeah, so I like those. Good to have. So I have quite a few pairs. Also, if I'm going and doing two or three hikes in a weekend, I'll bring different shoes to change them around because you might get hot spots or little spots that rub on different shoes. And I find if I alternate, so I don't wear, if I'm doing say five hikes in five days or whatever, which I did last year, um, I will alternate and switch those shoes. So that's why I have a bunch of different pairs. So my Keen sandals, I basically lived in them last summer. I, I had uh, some plantar fasciitis happening. Did I say that right? I don't know. Uh, I had that happening. My foot was sore all the time. And my, I wore these in the house. They felt so good. So really good arch support. Um, and as you can see, good support in through there. I love these suckers and lived in them. They're starting to wear out a little bit. <clears throat> good thing I have two pairs. The other pair is pink, not blue. Clearly sandals. I don't buy blue. I don't know. Anyways, I can do about 10 kilometers of a fairly flat hike. 
um, in those. I like them for nice hot days where I'm going out to say grotto and um, want to stick my feet in the creek. And they're kind of a nice option. So shorter hikes uh, and hot days and then you can stick your feet in. Uh, I also wore them when I went to Utah and we did part of the Narrows. Although that water was cold. Cold. So hopefully that helps talking about shoes a little bit. Um, wear them, wear them, wear them before you go hiking. You're going to find out if there is hot spots. You're going to find out um, how they feel on your feet. And you're going to break them in a little bit. These ones that I've had, I haven't done a whole lot of breaking in. I like throw them on and go for a hike. And then I have a good idea if I like them or not. But um, generally you should be wearing them. And even if that means wearing them around the house, parks around your pathways around your, your house, that sort of thing, which is kind of our reality this spring, um, wear them, get them, wear them, see how you like them, see what works, try different socks in them uh, and what works for you. So, so that's my suggestions about shoes. I hope that you're coming hiking with me this year and that you have a fantastic, comfortable pair of shoes. Tennis shoes are okay for short hikes. Um, if you do have hip or knee problems, I highly recommend you invest in a really good pair of solid shoes with good art support. So have a fantastic day. I'm looking forward to hiking season. I hope you are too.